Have you read The Brief History of Time, which says that one second of recorded time can in fact last for an eternity? Have you ever been on a British caravanning holiday, when two weeks can seem to last even longer? The cold, the lack of soap suds, the horror. Oh, the horror. Morning! Come on, no need for makeup. Mother Nature will provide the blusher. <laughs> you look uh, cold, love. Did the gas run out? Oh, why didn't you change the bottle? Because it was dark and we are girls, OK? Because everything was cold and wet and covered in nature. Because there are mice and worms and spiders. Because we are living in hell. But without the heat. <laughs> All right. Just remember, Colin, this holiday was your idea, so everything is your fault, including the weather. At least the sun's shining. The sun shines in the Arctic. <laughs> the sun has got his hat on. Hip, 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 hooray. The only reason the sun has got his hat on is that it's bloody freezing. <laughs> and if he had gloves and a scarf, he'd be wearing them and all. Oh, are you all right? How's Raj? Oh, he's pretending to be asleep so that he doesn't have to come out in the cold. <laughs> cold? What cold? Oh, come on, look, we're all on holiday. Colin, stop calling this a holiday. You're confusing the children. <laughs> the plan worked, mate. Stay warm. <laughs> look, everybody, it's a woodpecker. I hope it dies. I'll shut you up. Morning. Good morning. before we start eating each other. I'm going to arrange all the empty colour gas bottles in a field and spell out the word... help. <laughs> you never know, the plane might fly over. <laughs> that is... our last remaining link with civilization gone. All gone. <sighs> I wish I brought proper socks. I wish I'd bought a shotgun. <laughs> huh. Leo, Peter, what do you reckon to a bit of fishing off the pier later on? I want to go home. Peter, how about taking a boat out? I want to go home. <laughs> Right, Seema. In the absence of a full-length mirror of any kind, we've both got to look at each other and be brutally honest, OK? Ready? <laughs> <sighs> you know, we're not even halfway through yet. <laughs> Never mind, it's a test of our endurance. An assault course? Yeah, if they throw in a bit of paintballing, we'll be middle management by the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy? but it hasn't got a bushy tail on. Well, darling, if it hasn't got a bushy tail, it's probably a rat. <laughs> Their water must be even colder than ours. <laughs> come on, come on, my son, you can do it. Come on, boil, boil. Why can't we just have our tea warm? Point of principle, be patient. Anyway, you can't make warm tea. That's why you can't make tea on the top of Mount Everest. Water bought at 76 degrees. The flame's degrees. gone out. I'll go change the bottle.
We'll have to wait for the mud to dry. Road tax will have run out by then. <laughs> hey, we can all squeeze into my van, all part of the holiday. What about Raj? You don't mind mucking in, do you, Raj? He said he'd rather die than spend the day here. <laughs> <laughs> See? All mucking in together. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> It's finished. Come on. Peter, you used to love my sandcastles when you were little. You used to go up to the other kids and say, my dad's a builder, come and see the castle that he's built. Yeah, then you give their dads an estimate. <laughs> Good, Peter, come on. You want to see it, don't you? OK, the first person to look at the castle gets some money. <laughs> and a week off from school. Got a flag and everything. <laughs> Got a drawbridge operated by pulleys pulled by real crabs. <laughs> oh, come on, let's go and look at his bloody castle. Come on! Oh, Raj, do you want to? It's okay, I'll take a photo. That's typical, isn't it? It's a sandcastle. It's not only a sandcastle, it's my sandcastle. My sandcastle that I built for you with my own hands. Right, sorry, yeah, it's not just a sandcastle, it's a metaphor for your whole life. Does he even know what a metaphor is? Oh, I do like to be beside the bloody seaside. <laughs> What do you mean? Why did we have to leave our house? <laughs> we didn't. We volunteered for this. This is our holiday. But on the holiday programme, it's hot and everyone's happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's telly. This is Wales. We. Wales Sea. Oh, have I. Are you phoning? No, it's just, you know, I was wondering what teachers did in their holidays. Yeah. Student teacher. He's still much older than you. Yeah, like your dad is much older than my sister. That's different, they're grown-ups. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, is it right to bring kids in here? Door. <laughs> Glad come re, publicly come. Shirley Bassey. <laughs> oh, of course. <sighs> Silly me. You know, I actually almost forgot. Look, we'll find another pub. I don't care about being made welcome. I just don't want to go somewhere where I feel they're going to kill me and make jewellery out of my body. <laughs> This time, 
I'll go in first. Why don't you just leave us Martians in the van? You can bring us some crisps or something. It's all in your imagination. I swear to you, they all have three fingers. Is that just <laughs> different? It's all the pesticides. <laughs> leave this to me. Is it all right if I bring the kids in? Oh, if they behave themselves, eh? Um, my wife is Asian. Oh, right. Now, look, where you are right here is called Upper Tlanon. Now, my missus do come from Lower Tlanon, which means I know a thing or two about mixed marriages, doesn't it? <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, my wife is pregnant. Do you have a, a no smoking area? Well, the eating area is non smoking. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, one other thing. Uh, do your labs have wheelchair access? If you're from the council, just come out and say so, right? <laughs> Okay, normal people. They won't like us then. Do they do chips? Yeah, one on each shoulder. Can I say, Rapinda, you are now the one being prejudiced? Look at that. What? That's what's great about being in the countryside. That, my son, is proper beer. Real beer, real ale. Brewed locally by local people in the traditional way, using local ingredients. <laughs> and you need a local anaesthetic before you can swallow it. <sighs> Must be the first one out the barrel. Yeah, because no one else has ever bought any. This him? Yep. <clears throat> oh, Jeff tells me you're from Birmingham. Yes, yes, that's right. Uh, it's nothing unusual there, of course. What isn't? Uh, marrying coloureds. Perfectly normal. All right. People around here, we're a bit more set in our ways, aren't we, Jeff? Still... Good luck to you, I say. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mind you, it's the, uh, it's the children I feel sorry for. Neither fish nor fowl. She's pregnant, isn't she? Is that a bun in the oven or a poppadom? <laughs> Good heavens, look at that. Hmm? What? That trout, I could have sworn it moved. <laughs> Don't think so. Must be the beer. The stuff's strong, you know. Mm. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Tastes a bit minty today, Jeff. Minty. Mm. Any better? Yeah. A pint of vengeance brewed all over the world. Anyway, we've all had an idea. Yeah. Go home. No, see, Ma. We just thought we'd go to the nearest town and do a bit of shopping, you know, just while it's raining. Oh, right, so we'll be shopping for, what, seven days? <laughs> Fine by me. What do you want to buy? Well, I need some more socks. Oh, I need an overcoat and a thermal vest. Oh, and one of those, like, Arctic sleeping bags. And... <laughs> we also need some uh, fresh ginger and garlic and spices of any description and some other people to talk to. Oh, and a proper bull tea. Oh, imagine. Oh, and, and a big red bus that goes into a city where there's a graffiti and CCTV cameras. <laughs> <laughs> and some proper rooms with proper beds to sleep and a real carpet. OK, OK. 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 Look, I know this holiday's not turning out like you'd all hoped. <laughs> but I was listening to the weather forecast this morning. And? Definitely changeable. <laughs> It's gone. 
on. What? Why would anyone want to steal a load of washing? <sighs> they must have been after our underwear. Who <laughs> wants to steal my underwear? Well, compared to sheep, even you're attractive. Get Colin, there's somebody out here. Where? Just get him! Did <laughs> 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 you see him? Who? There was someone out here walking around. He was smoking his cigarette. I saw the end of it glowing in the dark. Yeah. It was... Uh... A shepherd. He, he lost some sheep and stuff. Breathe out. Hmm? Let me smell your breath. <laughs> you want them again, Dad? No, it was little Bo Bloody Pete. What do you think? <laughs> oh, it's not easy being entertainment's officer, you know, under a lot of pressure. Wish I could go back to work and have a rest. It's not your fault. Around here don't talk, they moo. He's wearing my knickers. What? <laughs> I can just tell, I can tell by the way he's peddling. He's wearing those blue ones that ride up. <laughs> Look, it was only one lousy fag. Come on, I mean, I'm on holiday. I don't care about the cigarette. So what's wrong? <laughs> that old man on the bike's wearing your wife's pants. <laughs> you want to go home. So, you want to go home? Look, look, Rapinda. Where do you suggest we go on holiday? Greece? Spain? At least they try to get into your knickers before you hang them on the washing line. <laughs> look, um, why don't you not go and get washed? Go on. Go on. No, she's right. She wants to go to Spain. We all do. Fine. Do you think I don't want to just jump on a jet and go? We can't, can we? All right, so this is all Raj's fault, is this? Hey, hey, I would also like to go to a nice, warm, comfortable country hotel, you know, with proper beds and heating and disabled facilities. But we can't afford it because it's my fault. I'm serious, it's my fault. I'm just a bloody jobbing builder working his earlobes off all year to get enough money so I can afford two weeks' holiday with my family. But if you don't want to do it, fine, fine, OK. Sod the lot of you. I'm getting packed. going through with it, then? Do you know what we did for holidays when I was a kid? Yes. Well, I'll tell you. All we had was an ex-army bell tent for nine kids. No ground sheet, no pegs, no hot water, no showers. But, Dad, that's the point. You lived in a house that didn't have central heating or showers or a ground sheet, so you didn't know the difference. And going on holiday was great because at least the Luftwaffe weren't dropping doodle bugs on your head. They didn't drop doodle bugs. They came of their own accord. I thought you'd done social history. Anyway, I wasn't born till the war ended. Dad, don't you see? I have done social history and I do know what you're talking about. Look, your generation is different to ours, and the difference is we've had chances your generation never had. And stuff like this just isn't enough anymore. And what about Rupinda? 
You've done the studying. What generation is she? Mine or yours? That's different. Oh, is it? <laughs> A British holiday, Colin. <laughs> Let's make the most of it, eh? Is he? Maybe we could make a deal. I'll think again about him if you think again about Colin. This is a bit like eating Barbara Cartland's head. <laughs> <laughs> Colin said the boys are going to have a swim in the sea, and if the girls don't come, it means we're sissy. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, the wet foot hop. A traditional British folk dance which takes place every summer. The song goes, I do like to be beside the seaside. I do like to be beside the sea. It doesn't actually say anything about actually going into the sea. The sea in Britain is never warm, nor sometimes is the reception given to strangers. Go home, Pa. Mum, what are the rest of the words? Idiots. We're not even from Pakistan. You see, a bit of adversity and we're all mucking in and pulling together, eh? Yeah, don't want to go home, though. Oh, so you want to do what it says on the van? Give in to him. Forget about the van. Just tell us what it was like when you were little. Um, tell us more about the wood rangers. The woodcraft folk. What's the woodcraft folk? The sort of like power rangers, but without the threat of lethal violence. <laughs> it was like boy scouts for kids who couldn't see the countryside, you know. They taught us how to make fires, how to survive in the woods on our own, and if we met other people, how to help them out if they might be lost. Wait, let me get this right. They taught you to play with matches, wander off on your own, and talk to strangers. <laughs> and they taught us some English traditional folk songs. Oh, my name is Captain Grant, and I am bound to say I'm one of them bold heroes who ride the highway. Colin, if we give you money, will you uh, promise to stop singing? <laughs> <sighs> I'm cold. So am I. I'll give each other a cuddle. <laughs> hey, cheers, everybody. Hey, cheers. What's that? What? There, there's a light. Looks like a torch. Somebody running. Peter Seema, get the kids in the caravan. She said it never would have dried hanging there in this weather. She sorted it all out, and I and what needed it. <laughs> you better have these. Ends been laying pretty well. Had these left over. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to see somebody's daft enough to come here. <laughs> 
Have a nice holiday. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Can we come out now? No! Go to sleep! Everything's fine. Do you fancy a cocktail? You want? I could, um, I could ask the waiter to come over if you like. <laughs> or we can just swim over to the pool bar. Or we could go down to the beach and swim naked in the sea. <laughs> the Caribbean is very warm this time of year, isn't it? Mm. Can you hear that? What? Ah, the samba. The sound of the steel band, the waves lapping against the sandy shore. Yeah. Yeah, I can. I'm doing. <laughs> Never have fallen asleep under that palm tree. I'm sorry, Rapinda. Because huh? it'll never be real. This is real. There it is, the biggest little fish <laughs> ever caught up that jitter, according to the old bloke. Ah. Now, I reckon we should lose this one. What do you say? Anybody? Gives a wrong impression, don't you think? Hmm? You enjoyed it though, didn't you, Raj? <laughs>